Hey there, Love Film. I'm sitting on the couch and I'm joined by John and Glenn, who are the writers and directors of a fantastic film called I Love You, Philip Morris. Now, you guys probably will have heard of them before for writing Bad Santa, which is a Love Film favourite. Um, first off, can you tell me, can you tell our members a bit about I Love You, Philip Morris? Because it needs to be seen to be believed, in all honesty. Yeah, it's very hard to explain, but it's uh, it's uh, it's basically the story of a of a, a man uh, on a search for himself, and he. Uh, it was on a long odyssey, uh, and uh, I guess eventually finds himself through uh, the power of love. I guess that's the best way to say it. It's a bizarre ride through a very. He's a con man, and through very different uh, cons and uh, and and this the different furrows and interesting uh, side channels of his life. It's uh, you know not a very uh, it's not a very traditional film, but it explores it explores a character in, de in an in depth way, and it's pretty funny. It's based on a true story. Mm -hmm. This actually happened. Yes. So how did you find out about the story? Who is it based on? Because uh, I didn't believe it when I first <laughs> read about it. I was like, no way is that true. That's ridiculous. Uh, we were given a book proposal uh, written by a journalist uh, out of Houston uh, that had written a bunch of a series of articles for the Houston Chronicle. And, um, and it was just uh, 20 pages or less and long. And it was just outlined the story. and. And uh, it wasn't even the book yet, and, and we read it, and we go, well, this is just too incredible to say no to. Now, obviously, Jim Carrey plays Stephen, yes. who is um, going through the journey, and it actually his life kind of turns around when he's in prison, and he meets Ewan McGregor, who mm -hmm. is the love of his life. Mm -hmm. And um, Jim was at the screening yesterday, and Jim was saying that out, out of three scripts that he's read, he was, this was one of them that he really desperately wanted to do. I mean, that must be a huge honor for you guys. Yeah, and also he didn't have any notes for us. He, he didn't want to change the script, which has never happened to us. So we were really honored and really thrilled. I mean, yeah. And uh, did the, was, was there lots of improvisation on set? Was he joking around? Was he quite, I can imagine he's quite difficult to control. Or is that not true at all? I don't think he's difficult to control. It's just about kind of managing your resources. He's full of ideas. Millions of ideas are constantly flying out of him. You just had to choose, you know, a time to say, you know, we have to move on. And obviously you got Jim Carrey to come along and introduce the film yesterday, and that yeah. must have been pretty special. It was great, and it was very funny, and uh, he tells a story about how I, uh, I was constantly so caught up in his performance that I would call cut in the middle of scenes, uh, which happened for about a week straight, and uh, <laughs> it just pissed him off. It was, it was very funny. And, and how are you finding the Cannes Film Festival? Are you enjoying it? I, it's incredible to be here. I can't even believe I'm here. I never expected, you know, we thought we were going to take a little hiatus from our screenwriting career, walk, make a little movie and go back to writing, and this was the last place I ever thought I'd be. Um, well, listen, guys, thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us. Our pleasure. Thank you for letting me sit in between you.